What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video and today we are bringing back one of the old channel favourites, a ranking video. I haven't done one of these for a while but I definitely thought it was due and of course we will be ranking all of the capital supremacy maps from the worst to the best including the brand new Felucia map which is proving to be insanely popular and beloved already. Now, if you guys are enjoying Felucia, then be sure to drop a big thumbs up on this video and let me know in the comments below what you're loving about the latest update in Battlefront 2. Are you loving Felucia? Are you loving Clone Commandos? Are you loving Instant Action, Co-op? Whatever it is, let me know in the comments. Now guys, I will be ranking the reinforcements next with the brand new Clone Commando, so make sure that you are subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss that video. Now before we dive right into this, as always, just know that these rankings are my personal opinion. If you disagree, that's okay, just let me know your rankings in the comments. But anyway, let's dive into this and starting off the list as the worst capital supremacy map is Kashyyyk. Now for me, Kashyyyk is just, it's, it's just too big, plain and simple, it's too big. I just get really tired of having to, you know, run around from control point to control point. There's countless times where I've had really good kill streaks with heroes on Kashyyyk, but I've been hesitant to put the gameplay in my videos because I've spent 90% of the time as the hero running around trying to find people. So I really believe that if they want to improve Kashyyyk, they really kind of need to sort of just shrink the map down somewhat. Have being said that, I do like the crash vehicles look that is like all around Kashyyyk. It does distinguish it from the Galactic Assault version of Kashyyyk at least a little bit, so it keeps that kind of unique quality. But vehicles on the Kashyyyk Capital Supremacy map are just an absolute nightmare and I'm almost just completely done with it. They can chase you around very easily. Like if a Stap wants to chase you around as a hero and, you know, just not leave you alone, he can do that because there's not too many places where you can actually hide. Now, like I said, this map does differentiate itself somewhat from the Galactic Assault map, so I give it credit there. But I mean, I just, I honestly, a lot of you guys who have known my channel for a while and, you know, tune into my live streams know for a fact that I just don't like Kashyyyk in Battlefront 2. It's not because it's bad, it's because I am that sick of it, it's not funny. For the first few months of Battlefront 2's release, Kashyyyk was the only map I could ever find on Galactic Assault and I'd spend up to 45 minutes trying to find a different map, but I just never could. So I've actually hated Kashyyyk as a map for a long time now, and the fact that it's in Capital Supremacy as well just kind of does my head in too. But my personal opinions aside, I think Kashyyyk is actually one of the least favourite maps for Capital Supremacy anyway for the vast majority of Battlefront players, so I feel like I'm not alone keeping this one as the worst. But now moving on to the number 4 spot is Geonosis. Now don't get me wrong, Geonosis is a damn good Capital Supremacy map. It has a good mix of height, open and closed areas. The vehicles however, just like Kashyyyk, they dominate and are easy for Staps to just chase you around and harass you and it's just annoying. But apart from that, it is a very nicely done map. It is completely different from its Galactic Assault counterpart which I am all for, like that, that makes me happy to see that Geonosis and Capital Supremacy is just a completely different map. Oh, like, I love that. But after a while, I have really gotten a little bit tired of Geonosis in Capital Supremacy. Vehicles can easily camp objectives due to how open some of the control points are. And as you can imagine, that can be pretty annoying. But with the Clone Commandos coming to the game, that might actually change a little bit. Because we have a reinforcement that can purely counter vehicles with its anti-armor attachments. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out over the next few months. But overall, I think Geonosis is a reasonably balanced map. Its control points are in good, interesting places, making for some intense control point battles. Now me personally, I love nothing more than a good control point battle, like when opposing factions come together with heroes, reinforcements, and it's just, you know, a cluster of blaster fire and explosions. It is, it is just fun, like, that's what it is, and Geonosis has a lot of control points that allow that to happen, so that's a big tick for me. But like I said, Geonosis wore thin for me personally. That's why it's kind of low on this list despite being yet a quality map. But now moving on to the number three spot is Camino. Now Camino is a really fun map and I have always really liked it. Now it isn't any different from how it is in Galactic Assault. It's pretty much exactly the same minus the last phase. Now some people might find that as a complaint, but honestly, I actually like that. I really enjoy Camino in Galactic Assault. So the fact that it's very, very similar for Capital Supremacy, but just different objectives and different parts of the map are cut off. 
I really like that and it really works for me. Now there are a few gripes I do have with the map however. It is really easy to kill Separatists off the spawn as heroes like Anakin and Yoda. On stream the other day I got like 80 kills in like 4 or 5 minutes just you know killing Separatists coming out of the spawn because I was just defending the objective. Because one of their spawn points is literally right on top of one of the control points so in order to defend that control point you literally have to spawn trap your enemy. So I don't really like how that works but I mean it does make for some pretty fun hero gameplay at least. But when I'm searching for capital supremacy I am just I'm never disappointed when Camino comes up. It is a very good map, it's a lot of fun, and probably the biggest pro for me is the fact that there are no AATs or, you know, STAPs or anything like that, any kind of ground vehicles. There are none of them on this map, and that's why I probably love it so much. As most of you who know me, I hate vehicles on this game. I am just so sick and tired of them. Now, I naturally love this map for those reasons alone. It's solid across the board, there's no vehicles, so it's a little bit different from the rest, and overall, it's just a damn good map. But taking out the number 2 spot and the runner-up spot is Naboo. Now, Naboo is actually my favourite Galactic Assault map brought over to Capital Supremacy. It's not overly different, but it is still amazing like Kamino. It keeps everything from Galactic Assault that makes it really good whilst adding, you know, the little bits of environmental clutter and obviously the objectives to just make it that little bit different and little bit interesting. Now, in my opinion, Naboo in Capital Supremacy is one of the best maps in the entire game, beating out a lot of the Galactic Assault maps in the process. The only thing that I could really improve the map is going inside the throne room, the palace and doing all that sort of stuff because the Naboo Capital Supremacy map, it is just locked to outside. Whilst that's really good and it's still a ton of fun, it would be nice to just be able to at least defend one control point that's in the interior. I don't know if it's just me that feels this way, but I kind of look up to the staircase that leads into the palace and just wish I could go up there and actually defend a control point in there. But regardless of that, the map is still a just a ton of fun and it's pretty well balanced. There's not too many spawn issues. And the dusk setting looks great. I, it really complements Naboo. Naboo is like a, a brilliant showcase of how good the graphics in this game are. And the dusk setting you get with Capital Supremacy just really tops that off. But again, I keep coming back to it. The only improvement I could possibly make for this map is just expanding the map into the palace. Now, this could result in the map being probably too big, but I mean, if they trim off a little bit of the start of the map, I feel like they could have really made this work, and, you know, Naboo would unquestionably be probably number one for a lot of people. But taking out the crown as the best capital supremacy map in Star Wars Battlefront 2, we have Felucia. Now, Felucia is without a doubt the most beautiful map that DICE have created to date. They completely nailed the tone, the aesthetic, and the balancing of Felucia. It is ridiculously fun to play, and it's not just at number one because it's the new map. Like, I didn't fall into that trap, okay? This is number one because I genuinely believe it is the best capital supremacy map in the game. It is getting a massively positive reception from players, and given how easily some of the people in this community can turn on the game, that is a pretty good accolade to have. Even the most critical people that play Battlefront 2 are fully on board with Felucia and they are loving it, so that really does say a lot. Now, I have played a ton of Capital Supremacy games on Felucia now, and I still feel like I haven't explored most of it. I still haven't even seen the Dead Rancor, and I'm pretty sad about that, I'm not going to lie, because it's pretty damn cool. The Sarlacc is also amazing. I jumped into it straight away with, you know, absolutely no regrets, as I think everybody should have. Just jump into the Sarlacc for respect. If you haven't done it already and you're watching this video, go do it right now. Now, whether it's the plant life, the little farms, the little huts that the locals live in, whatever it is, I love exploring this map. The detail in the huts, like, is, it's amazing. Like, there's a refrigerator with stuff in it, for God's sake. Considering DICE are working on what you could deem as a skeleton crew for this game, the fact that they were able to build Felucia with this much detail, it actually kind of blows me away. Now, the only real issue with Felucia so far is that I can't find games for Felucia half the time. And if I do find a game of Felucia, odds are I actually get kicked from the lobby a fair bit. So that is honestly pretty annoying and it's kind of getting on my nerves, but that doesn't take away from just how good Felucia is. Like, that's a server issue, not a map issue. It did take me an hour and a half on stream yesterday to actually find a game of Felucia, but I mean, you take that away and there's honestly nothing wrong here. I have not had this much fun on a Capital Supremacy map before. 
I totally love it. I could honestly play it all day, which I literally can't say about anything else in Battlefront 2. So I think that really speaks volumes for how good I think this map is. Now, this might sound a little bit cheesy and it may be a little bit cringy, but I honestly, I stop and just take in and look around and just admire how good the map does look. Like I said, DICE nailed Felucia. It's way better than I thought it was going to be, and I hope it comes to Galactic Assault and Heroes vs. Villains really soon. You should be able to enjoy this map across all game modes, not just Capital Supremacy. So right now, the new kid on the block, Felucia, takes out the crown as the best Capital Supremacy map in Star Wars Battlefront 2, and it's going to take some beating to knock it off the top, that's for sure. Now, whilst I haven't included the ship phases in these rankings, I do want to say and just put in my two cents that I do like both of them, but they have become very stale because we play on the ship phases every single match. I just felt like not really incorporating them into the list because they're on all the maps, so if that makes sense, there you go. But guys, what do you all think of these rankings? As there are only five maps, I imagine more people's rankings will actually match up than most ranking videos tend to do. So be sure to post your thoughts and your own personal rankings below. I am really interested to see where you guys all put Felucia on your lists. The general consensus is Felucia is a banger of a map and I am definitely vouching for that in this video. It's a very, very worthy number one spot beating out Naboo, which I thought was never going to be replaced as my favorite capital supremacy map. But, you know, here we are. Dice just go and drop a 10 out of 10 Felucia map like, yeah, no worries. But guys, remember that I will be dropping an updated reinforcements ranking video, which will include the amazing clone commandos. That will most likely drop tomorrow at the time of recording. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on as we charge on to 30,000 subscribers by the end of the month. But guys, that is just about going to do it for this video. Be sure to drop a like if you did enjoy as it helps the channel out a ton. But that is going to do it for me today. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Keep on enjoying Felucia and I will talk to you all again real soon.